be looking at the scheme of work or the syllabus or the topics you should focus on as to prepare your WAYEK examination in mathematics. If you are writing maths in WAYEK, these are the topics you should focus on. It will help you as you are reading. These are the topics to focus on in, in mathematics for WAYEK. Before we go to those topics, remember that WAYEK has two papers, paper one and paper two. Paper two is about 50 objective questions. 50 objective questions. You will have one hour, 30 minutes to answer. Then you will now have the theory questions, which will consist 13 essay questions in two sections, section A and section B, to be answered in two and a half hours for 100 marks. You will have the paper one, 50 questions objective, will be 50 marks. The paper two, 13 essay questions in section L, section B, will also be 100 marks. Okay? Now, these are the questions you must answer. In section A, the objective, you answer 50 questions, which are compulsory. But in section B, it will be eight questions. Out of the 13, you will answer eight. Let's look at the, the topics you should focus on in WAYAK mathematics. Number one is number basis. How to convert from numbers from one base to the other, like conversion from base 10 and to base 2 and vice versa. Basic operations in number basis. Addition, subtraction. How to add number basis. Addition, subtraction, multiplication of number basis. Number two topic to focus on under Numer numbers and numeration is modular arithmetics. You can see them. Modular arithmetics. Number three topics to focus on is fractions, decimals, and approximations. Fractions, decimals, and approximations. The number four topic to focus on is indices. You should master the laws of indices. So focus, study indices. The next one is logarithms logarithms it will come out it will come out this year like mathematics then you should look at sequence and series under sequence and series you should know ap and gp ap is arithmetic projection progression then gp is geometric projections then you should focus on sets sets then logical reasoning now, you should focus on positive and negative integers, rational numbers. Then, you should focus on swords. Swords. I'm sure you can see them on the screen. By the way, I want you to stop now and do one thing. Subscribe. Just click on subscribe on our YouTube channel and click on the bell button. When you subscribe, come to the comment of this video and tell me you subscribe. I will send you the PDF of this syllabus. I will send it to you as a PDF so that you can look at them very well. After sort, you should do matrix and determinants. After matrix and determinants, you should study ratios, proportions, and rates. After that, you should read percentages. Under percentage, you have simple interest, commission, discount, depreciation, profit and loss, compound interest, higher purchase and percentage error. So read this very well. And they say you should limit simple interest, compound interest to a maximum of three years. Then you should do financial arithmetic, which it has to do with depression and amortization. And annuities, capital market instrument. Then you should now do variations. Under variation, you should do direct variation, inverse variation, partial and joint variations. These are the topics that will come out in mathematics this year. Then you should focus on algebraic processes. Under algebraic process, we have algebraic expressions. Study that topic. If you go to your mathematics textbook, like no general math, um, no concept mathematics, you will see some of these topics. Then you should do simple operations on algebraic expressions. 
both involving expansion of algebra, factorization of all of, of expressions. Solution to linear equations. If you study linear equation, then you should focus on change of some subject of formula and relation. In this, uh, one of the reasons why you should subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel is that we have treated most of these topics. If you go to our channel, go to the playlist of mathematics, you will see a lot of topics we are handled on quadratic equation, change of subject of formula, past questions on YEC, mathematics questions. So you should focus on change of subject of formula, quadratic equations will come out, graph of linear and quadratic equations will come out, linear inequalities will come out, algebraic fractions will come out, functions and relations will also come out. Then focus on measuration, lengths and perimeters, which has to do with Pythagoras theorem. If you go to our YouTube channel, you will see that we have done a lot on Pythagoras theorem, sine and cosine rules, length of arcs, circles, perimeters. Then focus on areas, areas of triangles, special quadrilaterals, which has to do with rectangles, parallelograms, and trapeziums. Circles, sectors, and segment of circles. Then surface areas of cubes, cuboids, cylinders, pyramids, right, right triangular prisms, cones, and spheres, volumes. Volumes of cubes. Cube. What I'm telling you are the things that will come out. Cuboid cylinders, cones, right pyramids, and spheres. Then volumes of similar solids. Then let's go to plane geometry. Under plane geometry, you have to study angles. Angles at a point add up to 360. Study angles. Study angles and intercepts at parallel lines. Study triangles and polygons. Study circles. Circles as a topic will come out. So the construction, construction, you know, this use of rural and pencil, construct this, this, this angle, 90, 60, 45, 80, and all the rest. So they look at how to bisect. Coordinate geometry of straight lines. So the trigonometry, sine, cosine, and tangent of angles. Study angles of elevation and depression. These are topics that will come on. Study bearings. Study calculus, so introductory calculus. Study statistics. Frequency distribution table, pie chart, bar chart, histogram, frequency, polygons, mean, median, mode of both discrete and group data. You know? Study probability. Both addition of probabilities for mutual exclusive and independent events. Multiplication of probabilities. These things will come out in this year's WAYEC. Vectors and transformation. Which has to do with vectors in a plane, transformation in a Cartesian plane. You should be familiar with length. 100 millimeters, 100, 1,000 millimeters in one so 100 centimeters equals to 1 meter. Study with areas, capacity, currencies, and others. There are still other important information you should know. I will send you this thing as a PDF file. Just click on subscribe to our YouTube channel, Noble Tutorials. When you subscribe, go to the comment of this video. Show me, tell me that you are subscribed. Then tell me to send you this PDF. I will send it to you so that on your own, you can take time and study these topics. Thank you. Subscribe now and get across to me immediately.